Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Broken Bow is a city in McCurdan County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 4,120 at the 2010 census. It is named after Broken Bow, Nebraska, the former hometown of the city's founders, the Dirks brothers. The land that would become Broken Bow was owned by the Choctaw tribe prior to being settled by colonizers. Growing around a lumber company started by two brothers, Broken Bow had a population of 1,983 just a decade after its incorporation in 1911. The city lies within the Little Dixie region of Oklahoma, an area originally settled largely by Southerners seeking a new start following the American Civil War. The city was the location of the wounding and capture of murderer Richard Wayne Snell in 1984, following his shootout with local police. Snell had shot and killed two men in Arkansas, a pawn shop owner and Arkansas State Trooper Louis P. Bryant. Broken Bow is located at 34.029784, minus 94.737656. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which 5.0 square miles, 13.0 kilometers, is land, and, 0.40 percent, is water. The city of Broken Bow stands in a unique transition zone between the Red River Basin and the Washita Mountains. While the Washita Mountains are sandstone ridges that are considered the roughest land in Oklahoma, the Red River Basin is considered fertile. North of Broken Bow is Broken Bow Lake, created by the United States Army Corps of Engineers by damming the Mountain Fork River. The lake's creation forced Hoka Town to relocate to its present day location. The Broken Bow Lake covers and has a shoreline. The lake contains small islands, basin is surrounded by pine trees. The city sits at the foothills of the Kayamichi Mountains, a subrange of the Washita Mountains. The Kayamichi Mountains sit within Lafleur, Pushmataha, and McCurdan counties near the towns of Pato and Albion. The Kayamichi peaks line up south of the Kayamichi River and reach an elevation. The range is the namesake of Kayamichi Country, the official tourism designation for southeastern Oklahoma. Black Bear, Coyote Bobcat, deer, minks, bats, bald eagles, and varieties of woodpeckers, doves, owls, and roadrunners are native to the Kayamichi Mountains region. In recent years, Broken Bow has seen a tremendous economic boom through the development of its timber and tourism industries. The town is also home to a chicken processing plant owned by Tyson Industries. In addition to being home of Broken Bow Lake, the city is a gateway for tourists visiting Beaver's Bend Resort Park. Hoka Town State Park, and Cedar Creek Golf Course at Beaver's Bend. Hunters also visit the region, which bills itself as the deer capital of the world. Broken Bow is home to two museums containing Native American artifacts. The Gardner Mansion and Museum was the historic home of the Chief of the Choctaws and was built in 1884. The Indian Memorial Museum houses prehistoric Indian pottery, fossils, quartz crystal and antique glass. The forest industry is by far the area's largest business concern. Each year some of lumber are harvested in McCurdan County, and great care is taken to ensure the prolonged health of local pine and hardwood forests. The Oklahoma State Department of Agriculture Forestry Division and United States Forest Service have a large presence in the area and are constantly surveying the area forests in order to prevent wildfires. Weyerhaeuser Company operates a large plant in nearby Itabel and International Paper also operates a large mill in Valiant. Additionally, Weyerhaeuser maintains several pine tree plantations throughout McCurdan County. Pan Pacific operates a fiberboard plant on the west side of Broken Bow. Huber Engineered Woods is the latest big player to enter the area, with a very large oriented strand board, OSB, plant, also on the west side of Broken Bow. Huber plans to employ about 160 people at the site and expects to create another 250 jobs within the local community. While Broken Bow's athletic history is limited primarily to high school football, it is recognized as one of the top high school programs in the state of Oklahoma. The Broken Bow Savages currently hold four state football championships, ranking third in Class A AAA in the state, behind the Clinton Red Tornadoes, 14, and the Ada Cougars, 19. In addition to their four state championships, the Savages have numerous state title game appearances, the most recent of which came in 2004 when the Savages lost to Clinton. The team's last real push for the as a state championship game was when the 2008 Savage football team lost to the Glenpool Warriors in a nail-biter 12-7 in the state semifinals, which ended their season with a record of 12-1.
Broken Bow High School integrated in 1964. Lavelle Hill and Larry Taylor were the first black athletes to play for Broken Bow High School. They promptly led Broken Bow to its first appearance in a football state championship game. Broken Bow lost to the Clinton Red Tornadoes in 1965. Lavelle Hill and Larry Taylor led Broken Bow to its first state track championship in 1966. Larry Taylor entered the United States Marine Corps after graduation. He was killed in Vietnam in 1968. Lavelle Hill accepted a football scholarship to Langston University. He briefly played for the Philadelphia Bell in the World Football League. The Savages own a distinct lead in their all-time series with their rival, the Itabel Warriors. The Little River Rumble, named for the river that flows between Broken Bow and Itabel, is played every year between these two schools and is one of the oldest rivalries in the state, dating back nearly an entire century. For some time, it was believed the Little River Rumble was the oldest continuous running rivalry game in the state of Oklahoma, until it was discovered the two schools did not play each other one season during World War II. The rivalry is hotly contested, and it's not an uncommon sight to see students from either town besieging the other, flying the flag of their school, black and gold for the savages, red and black for the warriors. A gold traveling trophy, as well as bragging rights, is at stake every year when the two McCurdan County schools tangle. Currently, the Warriors have won the last two matchups, as of September 2015, following a 14-game winning streak from the Savages. Historic Broken Bow Memorial Stadium has served as the home of the Savages since it was constructed in the 1930s by the Works Progress Administration. Built primarily of concrete and native rock, Memorial Stadium is one of the oldest and largest high school football stadiums in the state of Oklahoma. For the past 10 years, Broken Bow High School Band has received superior rating at the McAllister Regional Marching Contest and have placed in Class 4A in every marching competition that they competed in this past season. The band was originally known as the Savage Pride before it was changed in 2006 to the Black and Gold Regiment. As of the census of 2010, there were 4,120 people, 1,599 households, and 1,036 families residing in the city. The population density was 824 people per square mile, 317 km. There were 1,793 housing units at an average density of 359.6 per square mile, 137.9 km. The racial makeup of the city was 61.80% white, 8.30% African American, 18.50% Native American, 0.60% Asian. 0.00% Pacific Islander, 3.90% from other races, and 6.80% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 5.32% of the population. There were 1,599 households, out of which 31.5% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 35.8% were married couples living together, 23.2% had a female householder with no husband present and 35.2% were non-families. 32.5% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.51, and the average family size was 3.17. In the city, the population was spread out, with 29.9% under the age of 18, 51.2% from 19 to 65 and 15.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35.3 years. Males made up 46.2% of the population, while females made up 53.8%. The median income for a household in the city was $19,350, and the median income for a family was $22,500. Males had a median income of $32,2608 versus $20,895 for females. The per capita income for the city was $14,381. About 36.6% of families and 46.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 46.9% of those under age 18 and 31.8% of those age 65 or over. In the 2001 pilot episode of the television series, Broken Bow was the site of human Klingon first contact in 2151. A messenger named Klong was shot down by the Saliban over a cornfield. Shortly after dispatching his enemies, Klong was shot by a farmer named Moore. Although severely injured, Klong survived. 
It is worth noting that the area depicted in this episode is flat farmland, whereas the area around Broken Bow in the present day is hilly and forested. Because of this anomalous depiction, it was speculated that the locale in the Star Trek episode may have referred to Broken Bow, Oklahoma's namesake Broken Bow, Nebraska. However, in two episodes there is direct reference to Oklahoma. First, in Broken Bow itself, Captain Archer asks where Klong came from, and an admiral replies Oklahoma. Second, dialogue in the Enterprise episode, Captain Archer is asked what he might know about a place called Broken Bow in Oklahoma, seeming to settle which Broken Bow was referred to in the pilot episode. Broken Bow in the surrounding area also served as the location for the episode 1919 of the television series Millennium, in which Frank Black led a search for a group of children who had been abducted on their way to school. The abductor, a crazed visionary who believed he was the one destined to carry out the Book of Revelations instructions, entombed the children in an abandoned quarry. This ultimately saved them from a deadly tornado that destroyed the schoolhouse where they otherwise would have been. Broken Bow was mentioned in the 2009 film Leaves of Grass. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.